What is going on everyone? Auto Endeavors here coming back at you with another video today. Today we are going to be discussing the recent face-to-face -face match between the Ford Maverick Hybrid and the Ford F-150 Power Boost. But before we do that, I want to ask you all to please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a whole bunch. We are on our way to 500 subscribers. Can we hit it before the end of December? I think we can, but I need your help, so please hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get into this discussion. So, basically, the Ford Maverick Hybrid has been touted as being a fuel-efficient pickup truck, right? Now, a lot of people kind of don't see it as a pickup truck as much as they do a full-size, such as a Ford F-150, but nonetheless... It does have a pickup truck bed, and many people do consider this to be a actual pickup truck, regardless of what other people may say. Now, the hybrid model is not being touted as the most powerful model in the lineup of the Ford Maverick, but it is the most fuel efficient. And Ford has also put out an F-150 that is touted as being the most fuel efficient, and that is the F-150 Power Boost. So, the Power Boost is being touted as being fuel efficient while also barely decently powerful. And the race between these two trucks really kind of shows a lot of potential for both vehicles. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering which truck won, and I know you can already assume and probably already know which one won, but that's not to say one is better than the other. It really depends on your specific needs when deciding on buying a full-size or a compact mini pickup truck. It really just depends on what you need in your own individual life. But what we're going to do is we are going to go over and take a look at a recent article discussing the race between these two pickup trucks. We're going to see which one actually ended up winning in the race, and we're going to discuss a little bit of the differences and the similarities between the two trucks. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, everyone, so this article comes to you from MotorOne.com. I will be linking this article in the description down below for your viewing pleasure. But basically, TFL decided to do a drag race between the Ford Maverick Hybrid and the Ford F-150 Power Boost. And this video is on the article page, so you can go and check it out at your own time for your viewing pleasure. But basically, down here in some of the description of what went on in this race is basically... The Ford Maverick is a small truck. It slots well below the F-150 in the blue oval truck family. And though we've seen a few side-by-side -side comparisons before, the one in particular really shows the size difference. The Maverick is so small next to the F-150, it's almost cute, but cute doesn't win the drag race. Power does. And yes, indeed. Taking a look at both of these trucks side-by-side, -side, you can definitely see there is a definite size variance between the two. And the F-150 most decidedly has power. The new TFL truck video features a power boost hybrid model and stripped down XL trim. A curious combination, but it doesn't change the 430 horsepower belted out by the truck's electric enhanced twin turbo charged V6. It's range topping powertrain, whereas the Ford Maverick 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid is an entry level with just 191 horsepower going to the front wheels alone. It seems the Maverick has little chance in this matchup, but it does hold advantage over its big brother. It's lighter by a full 2,000 pounds, and that is something you need to consider, especially when racing. The lighter vehicle has a little bit of an advantage being lighter. However, the Ford F-150 is still more powerful, so obviously we can already guess who won. Before the Maverick races the F-150, it must first defeat a new Bronco packing its own twin turbo charge V6. To great surprise, the Maverick gets the job done despite the power disadvantage. It turns out the off-roader, it also quite heavy, and with a focus on dominating trails, it's just not suited for an on-pavement drag race. The Maverick didn't win by a large amount, but it did win. So, interesting. The Maverick beats the Ford Bronco in a race, but not the Ford Power Boost. So if you're looking for a fast and off-road capability, you might want to think about the F-150 over the Bronco. But most people aren't looking for both of them at the same time, so both of them will fit different needs accordingly. Of course it won, and honestly, we're pretty sure it was going to win no matter what. Everyone wants to see the smallest and largest Ford pickups facing off in a drag race. 
especially with each rig wearing the same shade of blue. The size difference between them is almost comical, and when the race starts, the power difference is just as shocking. The F-150 literally carries an extra ton compared to the Maverick, but having more than double the power easily makes up for that. With accelerators planted, the F-150 walks away from a very easy win. So it looks like the Maverick may not be the most powerful or fast truck in Ford's lineup, but it definitely packs a punch. A second race was staged with the trucks using only electric power, though neither truck has a dedicated electric-only motor or mode. As such, the term race doesn't really apply here since neither could punch the throttle with any measure of force lest they engage the gasoline engine. The result is perhaps the slowest drag race we've seen, which was won by the Maverick. Though we aren't sure if that's really a victory in the context. Both trucks will be joined by a new Ford Ranger and recently debuted the Gold Bull Markets and will go on sale in 2022. So basically, they not only raced these two pickup trucks, but they decided to race them using electric power only as well. And of course, neither of these trucks are really meant to be pushed in only electric power, but it's interesting that the Maverick ended up winning that race, albeit a very odd, very slow, but very unique race between the two. So, interesting stuff coming out on the Ford Maverick and its comparison to the Ford F-150. Let me know down in the comment section down below, what do you care more about in a pickup truck? Do you care more about price? Do you care more about power, speed, off-road capabilities? What are your top reasons when deciding on what pickup truck to purchase for yourself? Both of these trucks have proven themselves to be extremely capable in all different kinds of circumstances and situations. And it's interesting that TFL decided to go ahead and take them one-on-one, -on -one, head head-to-head with one another to see which truck could win in a race and obviously the larger one won surprisingly even though it weighs more than the smaller truck so interesting stuff once again coming out on the ford maverick again i'd love to hear what your top reason for buying a pickup truck is or what you're most excited about when you are thinking about buying either the ford maverick or the ford f-150 let me also know in the comment section down below which motor you are most likely to buy. As you all know, there's an EcoBoost option available in both of these trucks. Obviously, that is not what is being put to the test today. It is the hybrid and or power boost models, but it would also be interesting to see a race between the EcoBoost versions. The F-150 would most likely win once again, but it would still be interesting to see nonetheless. So with all that being said, I appreciate everyone for stopping by and checking out the video today. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a whole, whole ton. I do greatly appreciate it. And leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know your thoughts and opinions on both the Ford F-150 Power Boost and the Ford Maverick Hybrid. So with all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.